Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. This is our first story of the day. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Salutations. Itzhak Fried is a neurosurgeon at UCLA, and he's credited not with discovering the mechanics of the medulla oblongata or being one of those guys who figured out how to use the brain to take pictures of memories. Instead, he's credited with the greatest discovery of all time, the Jennifer Aniston neuron. During brain surgery, Fried would frequently keep his patients awake and ask permission for him to perform his own little side experiment, and many would say yes, because nothing would give me more comfort than knowing my neurosurgeon's got his own little side hobby going on in my head. Fried would show his patients sets of photographs while he was forking around in their noggins, and as it turns out, the brain doesn't hurt when the head's cracked open, it's getting cut up, so Freed would present the pictures and then monitor brain activity. He found that when he showed pictures of Jennifer Aniston, a particular neuron would flash multiple times, and as it turns out, when he showed pictures of other people, say non-celebrities, it would not flash. And he found that Jennifer Aniston neuron in a number of people. As it turns out, one flashing neuron isn't anything remarkable. Neurons are just brain cells, and that's what brain cells do. Signals are transferred all around the brain, then build up, and that tension results in a literal electric flash. The theory behind the Aniston neuron is that it's not acting alone, that the Aniston neuron is the end result of a cascade of other neurons triggered perhaps by her role in Friends, her personal relationships with Brad Pitt or Vince Vaughn, or, least likely, her movie career. Zing! So this is kind of a big deal and it's super interesting because these flashes occurred with other famous people that were not Jennifer Aniston. Specific neurons fired for people like Kobe Bryant, Halle Berry, and Julia Roberts. This might mean that when we remember somebody, we're actually carving out neural connections in the brain, which means celebrities are taking up space in our head. This could potentially change the way we understand memory. If memory can be distilled into specific sequences of flashes, then it might be possible to look inside someone's brain and see what they're thinking about. And that means that one day we might be able to read people's minds, all because of Jennifer Aniston. Knew she could still serve a purpose. Sebastian Sung stated, This kind of mind reading would require knowing the neural code, which you can picture as a huge dictionary. Each entry of the dictionary lists a distinct perception and its corresponding pattern of neural activity. But as it turns out, a bunch of other neuroscientists are saying things like, Hey, shut up. And such a study would prove to be an astounding waste of money. And Sung's like, Well, maybe we should have a debate to figure out just that. And so that's what they're gonna do. Freaking Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, man. bros before hoes, neuros. Joe, if any celebrity were to take up space in your brain, who would it be? That's easy. Justin Timberlake. He's Dreamy, and I really wanted to drop another album. Agreed. Mine would be Melissa McCarthy because I want some of that action. You know what I'm saying? I do. I really do. <sighs> so who and what take up space in your brain? Leave a comment down below. Use that muscle memory. Click the like and subscribe buttons. Hit this annotation or go to sourcefed.com for the five stories of the day or to see anything that we've ever done. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Ellie Morgan. And we're bringing McCarthy back.